Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Novel Nana. I'm Bex. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a few ways that you can uh, quickly put a scene together, um, especially if you're trying to, um, you know, learn how to build a short story or maybe you want to submit to a contest um, and you just don't know how to go about, um, you know, uh, or what things you need to consider in putting in uh, your story or how to develop it. So um, anyway, I'm going to just show you a few things or a few ways that you could try to help you really um, flesh out a scene or, you know, help you on your start to writing a short story or whatever the case may be. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, uh, stick around and we'll get right into the video. But first, let's take care of some channel maintenance and, uh, you know, it helps my channel out and it also, um, lets the YouTube algorithm know that you guys like what you're seeing and they will start suggesting my videos to others just like you. So um, be sure to hit that like button if this is content that you appreciate or you get value from. Um, and, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know, um, you know, some ways maybe that that you create a scene. Um, also, if you want to know the next time that I upload, just ding that bell. It will let you know the next time. Usually it's Tuesdays and Thursdays on 10 a.m. Um, or at 10 a.m. Central Time. Uh, sometimes it's only once a week. Sometimes it's twice a week. It just depends. But, um, you know, if you really want to know, just ding the bell, guys. Uh, subscribe if you want to. Okay, so... These are Nana's tips <laughs> for um, doing writing exercises, um, creating scenes and whatnot. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> kind of teaching you how to build, a, you know, or, or construct a scene. Um, okay, so number one, create a scene. In this scene, show me who your character is. Show me what they want um, and how they plan uh, to get that thing. Um, where they might run into a problem, you know, within the story, and also why the reader should care if they get um, or fail to get uh, what they're what they're wanting, what they're after. So everyone knows that's the basic um, parts or whatever of a story. So once you've figured this out, ask yourself. How does it look, feel, sound, um, taste, smell, you know, involve the readers in the senses of your character. Um, that can really help you, um, you know, construct a scene that is more interesting, more intriguing uh, to your reader. Um, number three, change the lens in which the reader is seeing that scene play out. Um, you know, maybe you could change it to a sarcastic lens. So maybe, you know, it's, it's another layer of that scene that you're building upon because now we are seeing this scene through a sarcastic, um, lens, if you will. Um, now these are just writing prompts, writing exercises. You can use this base scene, um, to begin with and then try these other things to, you know, uh, manipulate the scene, the original scene that you created. Uh, okay, anyway, so number three was changing the lens. Like maybe you could let us see it through the lens of humor, you know, something something funny about the scene or maybe the way they go about, um, you know, carrying themselves in the scene or maybe relaying information to another character in the scene. Maybe they have that humor um, lens on. Uh, maybe change the lens um, through fear. You know, maybe the scene causes for, I don't know, whatever the case may be, but, you know, change the way, the lens in which the reader gets to see this scene play out that you've created um, by changing it from sarcastic, humorous, um, fear, or even anger. Um, these are just ways that you can tweak um, the original uh, concept of what you've come up with that could really change and elevate your story. Okay, on to number four, emotional guide. Take us through the gambit of this scene by using emotion. Um, you know, take us through the cycle, the whole gambit of emotion. Um, you know, show us from anxiety to fear, uh, their insecurity going to calm, going to brave, and then finally confident, um, or whatever emotions you choose. Um, anyway, that's the emotional guide um, prompt for you. Uh, and the last one here, 
for the original scene just to kind of, it's a writing exercise, guys. It's just a prompt of once you've created your scene, you can use these things here on this list um, to really play with that scene and work with it and mold it and shape it um, and change it develop it. Okay, so number five was um, up the stakes or the consequences, or as an example, you might move the timeline or create a deadline for that matter of when um, your character, you know, has to do something, whatever it might be. Uh, maybe they've got to figure something out within 30 minutes or, you know, before dinner time or uh, before whatever the case. <laughs> I think you guys get the idea of what I'm trying to say, and I do hope that these writing exercises and these prompts that go with it give you a little insight on how you can um, really practice and hone those writing skills, um, really just by trying some very basic, um, you know, ways of creating the scene, changing the scene, developing a scene, um, adding layers to it, adding meat, adding urgency or agency, um, or changing the way that the reader may view your character if they're viewed through a sarcastic lens or a humorous lens or a lens of fear or anger or whatever the case may be. But anyway, I hope this guy's, um, this video helps you guys in your own writing exercises and your writing prompts to level up your skills as a writer. If this video um, helped you in any small way or gave you some good things to think about um, or brought you any kind of value, then please be sure to hit that like button. Um, also, subscribe if you want to and uh, hit that bell, guys. It'll notify you guys the next time that I upload. And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Until then, happy writing. Bye, guys. Whoop! <laughs>